gathering, isn't it? Bleachers, flags, bunting. It could be any kind of a civic ceremony, I guess. A Fourth of July celebration, a Founder's Day, or maybe just a graduation. But then, these fellows look like they've already graduated. Why, of course they have. Graduated and got their diplomas as some of America's favorite entertainers. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Falk. They're here not for a Fourth of July ceremony or a graduation, but for a cornerstone laying that is one of the grimly funniest scenes of their new movie, Robin and the Seven Hoods. <laughs> on the main lot, on stage 16, another group of workers is arriving to start a day's work on Robin and the Seven Hoods. Yes, we said workers. You may think it looks more like the beginning of a party, but just wait. There is no one in any show or movie that expends more energy, skill, and artistry under more exacting discipline than the dancers. These girls have already worked grueling hours of rehearsal and will work more now under dance director Jack Baker. Meanwhile, back at the cornerstone, Frank, Dean, and the boys are walking through the scene they're about to shoot. Director Gordon Douglas sets the movements and walks out the action so that everyone on the set, from cameraman to extras, knows exactly what is going to be required. This entrance, exchange of dialogue and exit, must look casual, extemporaneous, and natural as light on the screen. But making it look easy is hard. In addition to stars, actors, and technicians, the director has a performer on this set that takes rather special treatment. The 20-ton crane that raises and lowers the cornerstone on cue. On stage 16, the dancers are polishing up the fine points of the number that will be shot today if the shooting on the back lot goes according to schedule. The boys go off to try it once more. The crane lifts cornerstone again. The director shouts and hopes and shouts some more. There's been another delay. Someone missed a cue. Someone forgot a line. A light went out. A reflector fell. For any of 10,000 reasons, they have to do it again. Of course, as anyone who's waited for a lady can tell you, makeup is the world's greatest female time killer. So the waiting isn't too much to stand. You can always trade eyebrow pencils or try one of the other girl's lip liners. And that's the way it seems to go for hours. Rehearse and shoot. Wait some more. Shoot some more. Wait some more. Once again, wait. Quiet on the set. What's this? It has all the signs of a final take. We're rolling. Action. Robber! Listen, come here. I swear the book's on Big Jim, but I don't hear nobody saying thanks. Thanks. That's all you got to say, huh? All yeah. right, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Robo, listen to me, you're out of line. Now get back in line. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to have you hit. If you have to have me hit, you have to have me hit. That's it, Pred it. Everyone's happy. The stage is alerted that the company is moving in. Immediately, the atmosphere changes. Actors, dancers, and atmosphere players are in their places as camera angles are chosen and lights set. Our dancing girls are on their starting marks, limbering up like a team of Olympic acrobats. It may not look so glamorous, but every dancer has suffered enough strain and even a short career to have learned the value of a warm-up. Dean Martin arrives in his wardrobe change and is greeted by friends. In center screen there, you see one of the principals who will be playing in the upcoming scene. Naturally, he's on edge. How often does a guy get to sing with stars like Sinatra and Martin? And for the girls, even though they're close enough to the real thing for a new and exciting stimulation to be added, it's still rehearse and rehearse. This is one of the important musical numbers of the many in Robin of the Seven Hoods. It's called Charlotte Couldn't Charleston. Assistant directors are busy placing actors and extras. Cameramen and electricians are double-checking every corner of their picture. The director goes over the scene with Frank Sinatra undoubtedly reminding him of action and high points they have already discussed. And speaking of the real thing, 
our little dancer gets a few very valuable pointers and a word of encouragement from that singer who's going to be harmonizing with Messrs. Sinatra and Martin. The one, the only, Mr. Bing Crosby. Bing is a fellow who knows the value of a prompt response to the call of duty. And so hurries our girl off to the set as the whistle blows. It's more rehearsal, but this time closer to the take because Frank Sinatra is in the walkthrough. Frank, the Robin of Robin of the Seven Hoods, plays the Chicago swinger who's behind all the fun and games. Of course, you realize he takes from the rich only to give to the poor. They say that the biggest fans of all are the performers themselves. Our dancers are no exception. They're obviously delighted to be able to renew acquaintance with two such stars as Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. But now the director is calling for a take. This time it looks as though the work and waiting are going to pay off. The girls are in their places. Camera and sound are ready. And here's just a little bit of what all the fuss is about in Robin and the Seven Hoods. Though she came from Charleston, Charleston, Charlotte could 